Here's something they don't tell you in travel guides. Sometimes the most transformative experiences aren't about the mountains you climb or the temples you visit, but the unexpected people you meet along the way. And for me, in the heart of Nepal, surrounded by prayer flags and misty Himalayan peaks, I met Tashi, an encounter that was equal parts enlightening and, well, unexpectedly eye-opening. So picture this, I'm in Kathmandu doing the usual, temple hopping, market browsing, the whole backpacker routine. And because I'm a 21 Saint century traveler with a penchant for curiosity, and let's be honest, a little boredom, I swipe open Grinder. I wasn't expecting much, maybe some mountain goats or a rogue yak would pop up. But there he was, Tashi, his bio? Life's as unpredictable as a goat on a hillside. Intrigued? You bet I was. We decided to meet up at this little cafe tucked away in one of Kathmandu's bustling alleys. The vibe was cozy, the chai was strong, and the conversation surprisingly deep for what was initially supposed to be a casual hookup. Tashi wasn't just charming, he was fascinating. He had this vibrant energy, a quick wit, and an openness that was both rare and refreshing. And as we sipped our tea, the conversation took a turn I didn't see coming. Have you heard of Metti? He asked with a grin, knowing full well I hadn't. He went on to explain how in Nepal, Metti refers to effeminate men or those assigned male at birth with a feminine expression. It's part of a culture that's uniquely Nepalese and yet speaks to struggles and identities that resonate globally. The more Tashi talked, the more I realized how narrow my perspective had been. Here I was, halfway across the world, expecting Nepal to be this conservative, rigid society, and yet they've had legal protections for LGBTQ plus rights longer than many so-called progressive countries. Nepal, it turns out, recognized a third gender in its census and decriminalized homosexuality years ago. Who knew? Tashi's pride in his country's progress, despite ongoing challenges, was palpable. Listening to him talk about his community, their resilience and the steps they're taking toward acceptance was nothing short of inspiring. By the time the sun dipped behind the mountains and the streets came alive with evening prayers, I realized this wasn't just a random grinder meetup. It was an education, a beautiful reminder that our differences are just the tip of the iceberg. Beneath the surface, our shared humanity is what really connects us. Meeting Tashi made me rethink what I considered adventure. Yeah, the treks and the breathtaking landscapes were unforgettable. But this? This was different. It was a glimpse into a world I didn't know I needed to see. It was proof that travel isn't just about ticking off bucket list destinations. Sometimes, it's about those quiet moments of connection that challenge what you think you know. So yeah, my date with Tashi turned into one of the highlights of my Nepal trip, but not in the way I expected. Instead of just being another story for the group chat, it became a lesson in empathy, acceptance, and the unexpected magic that happens when you step out of your comfort zone. Who knew a casual grinder swipe in the Himalayas would lead to such a profound experience? But hey, that's the beauty of travel, right? You never know where a simple connection might take you. As I packed up to leave, I found myself feeling a little more open-minded, a little more curious, and a whole lot more appreciative of the diverse, vibrant world we live in. So next time you're traveling, maybe give those dating apps a spin. You might just end up with a story worth telling and some wisdom to take home. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this little adventure, hit that like button and subscribe for more travel tales with a twist. Catch you on the next one.